Good morning, everyone. Virgo here. I want to uh, bring this to you real quickly. This is breaking news, and I apologize. I'm not exactly ready for this. Um, I ran in here real quick to get this out there because it just came out just a moment ago. If you recall, I had been following the We Build the Wall uh, GoFundMe and charity there for a while uh, last year took a lot of flack for it too because i kept saying something doesn't seem right with this i really feel like we need to watch this for a scam uh there were definitely some issues with regards to brian colfidge and his history uh with charities and um you know gofundme accounts and that sort of thing um and then of course they started the um the we build the wall online uh I guess it just website uh Steve Bannon got involved and they went ahead and they they did a few a couple of miles of the wall um and you really didn't hear anything after that they raised a, a god awful amount of money just a huge amount of money um so any here how here is the news release from the Department of Justice Leaders of the We Build the Wall online fundraising campaign charged with defrauding hundreds of thousands of donors, Brian Colfidge, Stephen Bannon, and two others alleged to have funneled hundreds of thousands of dollars from the organization to Colfidge. All four defendants allegedly profited from their roles in the scheme. Uh, Audrey Strauss, the acting uh, United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York, and Philip R. Bartlett, inspector in charge of the New York Field Office of the United States Postal Inspection Service, the USPIS, announced the unsealing of an indictment charging Brian Colfidge, Stephen Bannon, Andrew Badaleo, excuse me, Badalotto, and Timothy Shea for their roles in defrauding hundreds of thousands of donors in connection with an online crowdfunding campaign known as We Build the Wall that raised more than $25 million. The defendants were arrested this morning. Colfidge will be presented today before U.S. Magistrate Judge Hope T. Cannon in the Northern District of Florida. Bannon will be presented today in the Southern District of New York. Bottle Lotto will be presented today before U.S. Magistrate Judge Thomas Wilson in the Middle District of Florida. Shea will be presented today before the U.S. Magistrate Judge Kristen L. Mix in the District of Colorado. The case is assigned to U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres in the Southern District of New York. Acting U.S. Attorney Audrey Strauss said, as alleged, the defendants defrauded hundreds of thousands of, do of donors, capitalizing on their interest in funding a border wall to raise millions of dollars under the false pretense that all of that money would be spent on construction, while repeatedly assuring donors that Brian Colfidge, the founder of the public face of We Build the Wall, would not be paid a cent. The defendant secretly schemed to pass hundreds of thousands of dollars to Colfidge, which he used to fund his lavish lifestyle. We thank the USPIS for their partnership in investigating this case, and we remain dedicated to rooting out and prosecuting fraud wherever we find it. Inspector in charge Philip R. Bartlett said the defendants allegedly engaged in fraud when they misrepresented the true use of donated funds. As alleged, not only did they lie to donors, they schemed to hide their misappropriation of funds by creating sham invoices and accounts to launder donations and cover up their crimes, showing no regard for the law or for the truth. The case should serve as a warning to other fraudsters that no one is above the law, not even a disabled war veteran or a millionaire political strategist. According to the indictment unsealed today in Manhattan Federal Court, starting in approximately December of 2018, Brian Colfidge, Stephen Bannon, Andrew Badalotto, and Timothy Shea and others orchestrated a scheme to defraud hundreds of thousands of donors, including donors in the Southern District of New York, in connection with an online crowdfunding campaign 
ultimately known as We Build the Wall, that raised more than $25 million to build a wall along the southern border of the United States, in particular to induce donors to donate to, camp to, to, donate to the campaign, Colfitch repeatedly and falsely assured the public that he would not take a penny in salary or in compensation and that 100% of the funds raised would be used in the execution of our mission and purpose because, as Bannon publicly stated, we're a volunteer organization. Those representations were false. In truth, Colfidge, Bannon, uh, Badalato, and Shea received hundreds of thousands of dollars in donors' funds from We Build the Wall, which they each used in a manner inconsistent with the organization's public rep representations. In particular, Colfidge covertly took, for his personal use, more than $350,000 in funds that donors had given to We Build the Wall, while Bannon, through a nonprofit organization under his control, Nonprofit One, received over $1 million from We Build the Wall, at least some of which Bannon used to cover hundreds of thousands of, of dollars in Bannon's personal expenses. To conceal the payments to Colfidge from We Build the Wall, Colfidge, Bannon, uh, Badalotto, and Shea devised a scheme to route those payments from We Build the Wall to Colfidge indirectly through Nonprofit One and a shell company under Shea's control, among other avenues. They did so by using fake invoices and sham vendor arrangements, among other other ways to ensure, as Colfidge noted in a text message to Battelotto, that his pay arrangement remained confidential and kept on a need-to-know basis. Colfidge, 38, of Miramar Beach, Florida. Bannon, 66, of Washington, D.C. Battelotto, 56, of Sarasota, Florida. And Shea, 49, of Castle Rock, Colorado, are each charged with one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud, fraud and one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering, each of which carries a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison. The statutory maximum penalties are prescribed by Congress and are provided here for informational purposes only, as any sentencing of the defendants would be determined by the judge. Ms. Strauss praised the outstanding investigative work of the USPIS and the special agents of the United States Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York. She also thanked the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Florida for their assistance. The case is being handled by the office's Public Corrupt Unit, Assistant United States Attorneys Nicholas Roos, Allison Moe, and Robert Sobelman are in charge of the prosecution. The charges contained in the indictment are merely accusations. The defendants are presumed innocent unless and until proven guilty, as always. This is the uh, official justice.gov Department of Justice uh, uh, news release. I am going to um, make sure that this is actually copied and put in the link of the description for you guys. So I went ahead uh, just so that you guys are aware and... Um, I went ahead and left up all the videos that I had put up last year with regards to this. Um, like I said, I got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, backlash for it. A lot of people extremely angry. But just like with this um, new scenario with the documentary and such, when I smell something that does not smell right, I generally will stay on it. And it usually ends up being that, yeah, something's not right. In this case, a whole lot not right. Uh, so for those of you that might have given to uh, We Build the Wall through the GoFundMe campaign or through the website, I encourage you to watch this case closely to find out what it is that they're planning to do with any remaining funds that might be available um, and anything that might have to do with uh, victims funding which quite frequently will be held by the Attorney General's office in the event that there's monies that are left over in a scenario like this. All right, everyone. Um, I'll let you know as soon as I have any additional information. 
The link will be in the description to the Department of Justice's uh, news release. And uh, thanks a lot, you guys. Have a good day.